Welcome to the EQ Lighting Application Suite and today we will talk about a concept which is called triggers and actions. You can create various types and ways of shows. This for example is a running queue list and the queue list is filled with queues which was created with the wizard, the eScript wizard and which creates automatically shows with patterns running. Another way to create a show is using the sequencer and in this case it is the full sequencer which is the Emotion FX sequencer where you can use videos and transitions and text, running text and place actions etc etc. In any case you have to control the programmer to yearn the show, the application that is wanted at that moment. And for this, there's a special concept in the programmer, which is called triggers and actions. Let's have a little bit of PowerPoint first. The concept of triggers and actions in the programmer is quite simple. So you create a trigger and when the trigger comes up, then it leads to an action. And possible triggers can come, for example, from an engine with a connected user interface. Here it is, a glass touch user interface. If somebody presses a button on the glass touch terminal or, for example, presses a button on the engine, this leads to a trigger. And other trigger sources could be the action pad. If somebody clicks a button on the action pad, then a trigger is created. Other possible values are time and date on a certain time, on a certain date, or during sunrise or sunset, you can create a trigger, or a trigger can come via an UDP or TCP interface from the network, or from a MIDI console. If somebody presses a button on the MIDI console, this creates a trigger. And whenever a trigger comes up, this leads to an action. And possible actions, well, there are many in the programmer. A very simple action would be to start playing a cue list. Another action could be starting the media player and play a video or you can set a master, the grandmaster or versatile master to a certain value and in the end an action could also be to start an eScript macro and execute functions which are not available in the basic command set of the programmer. Let us see a first example for a glass touch terminal to create a trigger and then combine the trigger with an action. I open the device manager and here I have my glass touch terminal which is connected to the Butler X2. If I double click the glass touch terminal then the devices properties dialog opens and here I have a tab which is called settings and in these settings I have all interface elements of the glass touch terminal. If I take this button number one and click it, then you can see that the trigger which is created when pressing, when clicking this button, then a connected action is executed. And in this case, it is starting a queue list, the queue list number one. And when I touch the button, it is a toggle function. So it plays and stops with every touch. So the trigger is pressing the button on the glass touch terminal and the action which is caused by the trigger is play a cue list. There are many, many possible actions that can be executed with this trigger. For example, set a fader, play a media file, send a MIDI control message or a MIDI message or play a MIDI note, send a program, change MIDI command, or send RS-232 data or start a sequencer and even more. So these are the actions which can be executed when the trigger comes up, which is the user clicked the button on the glass touch terminal. Let's close all these dialogues again. So triggers can be caused by external devices like glass touch terminals or MIDI consoles, but you can also create internal triggers. 
which are not connected to external devices. If you see the top menu, then you have a switch symbol, which is the trigger list. If I click the trigger list, then the trigger list dialog opens. You can see there are already some triggers defined. One is, for example, if I receive a MIDI control change on channel one, control number one, value five, then please toggle play of cue list number two. And here is the trigger that was defined for the glass touch terminal. This is also visible in this trigger list. I can now create an internal trigger. And to do this, I click the add trigger rule icon. Now I can create an internal trigger. What I want to do is I want to create a periodic trigger. I want to execute every Monday at 10 o'clock and 15 minutes. You can also define the date range when the trigger will be created. I will leave it like that here. And now I have created the trigger, which is every Monday at 10.15. We can use a MIDI learn function to connect this trigger to a MIDI command or MIDI message. We'll not do this at the moment. This is the trigger and now I will define the connected action. And the connected action is I want to play a cue list. I want to play cue list number six and I want to play it. And this is the action that is executed when the trigger comes up. So now the trigger is defined and every Monday at 10.15 cue list number six will be played. You have other possible triggers, for example, you can say I want a sunrise timer to use and on Thursday at sunrise I want to execute another action play cue list number eight. And here now is a trigger which is connected to sunrise. Every sunrise at Thursday plus 15 minutes play cue list number eight. A third example of a trigger and a connected action. I open the action pad, the graphical user interface of the programmer. And here now is the action pad with color picker, with the faders and with buttons. I go into edit mode of the action pad and here you can see the elements that make up the user interface. This is a button and if I double click the button then the properties for this button will be shown. And here you can see the caption of the button and which actions are connected to the button. So if the button is pressed, then we have a toggle play of cue list one. And we can define up to two actions here for this button. So in this definition, return to execute. If I click the button, then the cue list will be started or stopped. So in this way, using triggers and actions, you can control the programmer from external devices, from network interfaces, from MIDI interfaces, RS-232 and many, many other possible trigger sources.